guys what's up thank you so much for tuning in once again today welcome to another video today as you can see we're all sit ups nothing to do in the kitchen and so i have a group of my friends or rather have friends here i would like to introduce to you we go through some topics we talk about some few stuff here and there i hope you'll enjoy it if you haven't subscribed please uh go and subscribe share like and comment in uh, our videos wherever you find interesting if you have anything that you'd like us to go through or talk about just apart from being in the kitchen or anything we can just talk about with you people kindly uh, comment down the comment box uh, with me here today are two of my friends from my church well guys these are my two friends from our church um, uh, I have Victory and they have Rin. We call her Rin, but she's Maureen. So I'll let them introduce themselves. Maybe you get to know them in a better way. Hi, my name is Victory Mugambi or Vicky Mugambi. I'm a podcaster. Hmm. <laughs> oh, me. Okay. Hi. Have you the internet? Hi, and I'm Maureen. Maureen Warungu. Um, I do a lot of things, yes. I'm a marketer and a lot more stuff. Thank you guys for joining me today. Thank you for agreeing to even sit down with me on this. Uh, we're doing something like I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to get a better way of putting it out there, but we want to tell it all. We want to be real. We want to have a real talk. These two ladies, they are both single. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> The word single, and uh, I want I want us to share something. You know, um, a lot of times we have been uh, we have been given this kind of like a black shade when it comes to singlehood in Christianity, and so we just want to share how to be single in Christ, how to be single in the Lord, waiting on God. It's when I say waiting on God, some people just sing. Um, this is just too much. We can't understand or we can't take it but anyway uh these are people i i, I know personally and maybe they can share with us the experiences they can share with they can talk to us more about singlehood and waiting on god purity dating courtship and all that whatever they have learned in their few years well, ladies, um, I don't know who to start with. Rin, let me get to Rin. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, uh, what, what, what comes to your head when you talk about singlehood, when you talk about waiting on God, when you talk about uh, just dating the Christ-like way? What comes to your head? Okay, so singlehood, dating the Christ-like way. Um, for me, it's it's me it's, it's, it's about me and maybe my personal relationship with god um definitely you know in like a relationship there's you someone else and god of course definitely god being the center but now maybe looking at it this way it's me first and and my god and just me trying to find out why i'm here why he created me why he brought me down here why i'm you know my tone or whatever wherever whatever i've achieved so far or who is around me so it's just my relationship currently with god and just what do i say <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. yeah just for now where i'm going and just trusting in him also just um trying to see what is this he says about me and uh, maybe that's what i am appreciating more right now it's not looking at what other people may say because you see like in a relationship you may end up wanting to hear what does this other person say about you you know maybe you like someone because maybe they tell you they love you so you're like oh my gosh this person and then you're all feeling like oh now that's when you start liking them more and all that but mm -hmm. being single i feel like it's first of all let me learn what is this that god says about me yeah well okay, okay. <laughs> i don't know what to say after that but uh, <laughs> I think for me the greatest revelation that I've had that in this season because I'm still in it is it's it's you and God first. How I relate with God will automatically define how or interpret or whatever mm -hmm. how I relate with my husband. Because if my relationship with God is like seasonal, then my relationship will be like that. And I 
I am I'm a flawed human being and God is in flawed. So if I'm struggling with God, inter struggle how far will I struggle with someone who's flawed as I am? So the greatest revelation is that my relationship with God as Morin is saying it's comes it's the most basic thing it's the most important thing to me at the moment then the other person whenever he comes he'll find me so solid in christ that even if we have whatever seasons because relationship comes with its own issues it doesn't shake us you see yeah. so for me it's me and god first then the rest can follow oh. are you enjoying the season hey. yes <laughs> oh, yes yeah. Yes. Are you sure? You know, like, I've, 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 I've had to talk to people who have struggled being single and you really want to get, you're in this season of your life where you really want to get married. Mm -hmm. But you don't understand who you are first for you even to get to the point where yeah. I really want to get married. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I've spoken to a few friends, a few relatives where uh, they've struggled being in this singlehood season. You know, People, people tend to think that marriage is the epitome. It's mm. everything, you know. Yeah. Like being single. The, uh, one time I was in a matatu and uh, this lady was saying it's 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 kind of curse or something. And I was like, what are you oh. talking about? <laughs> but I know because personally, in the past, I ha I struggled in a way, and in my struggle, I fell, and in my falling, I stayed there for a bit, but. I failed to learn what being single really was, you know, mm -hmm. like the process the and then you know you never most of us never have really people to talk us through or because me where I come from I don't I didn't have anyone to talk to me about marriage. I didn't have anyone to talk to me about singlehood. Yeah. No one did. So I was teaching myself these things as time as time went by. And now we in this generation whereby we have very modern parents right yeah. now, you know. Yeah. We have these parents who from your teenagehood they take you through every single bit of this is how life is going to be, this is what not. And they talk you through singlehood and you don't find it so hard when you get uh, when you get to this certain age where you know feeling I'm grown and now I can see this changes in coming in my life or I'm getting into this particular season and na 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 and so um me I didn't have I didn't have that because my mom was away and uh, my grandma I am I'm, I'm this person raised Kabisa by granny so my grandma would give not really give me tips but she would talk about it Kamazile and Zizao, you know how they were brought up. Mm -hmm. For her, she would bring it out like that, which wasn't sinking in well because I'm thinking whatever concept and concept I'm getting here is different with our current, yeah. uh, our current life mm -hmm. and the uh, position of what of uh, wherever I am. And so I wasn't clicking. I wasn't understanding anything. Mm -hmm. But right now I sit down and I get to think what that lady is saying mm -hmm. truly it's coming in it's blending in in a way you know mm -hmm. and so we're talking about dating the quest like we uh staying single uh, being a christian and we've had uh, people term us badly mm -hmm. christian we either we pretend or how much you can is you are buyer yeah there's always yeah. something there's yeah, something true. about church girls church boys nini nini mm. because you hear uh, you hear guys wanting to marry in church and then once they marry in church they pull you out you yeah. know yeah. so we are in uh, we are in a place whereby the bible says you can never be or, uh, hot or cold you cannot be lukewarm you have to be one you know and so we told uh, the light and that cannot mix together so he is not saved he's not saved like we don't have a yeah. discussion yeah. about it yeah. however good he or she is however whatever package you come in you know yeah. if it's everything i have prayed for that god this is what i really want but the fact that this person is not saved kaput we mm -hmm. don't have a discussion about yeah. it and i don't have you know i don't have the I don't have the authority or I'm not in a position to help you through salvation because uh, Corinthians, uh, the book of Corinthians, Paul talks about 
it's only the unbelieving uh, the believing wife that will make the unbelieving husband believe yeah. and vice versa it doesn't say it's the believing girlfriend that will make the believing yeah. boyfriend yeah. so True. you are in a place where um uh, you're not in a position to get this person salvation mm -hmm. it's i pray for you god to deal with you if god at meets you own. at your yeah, at yeah. your own point yeah, uh, well yeah. and good but i don't want to be the person who leads to the process yeah, you know true. so we take a lot we tend to take a lot of uh, burden for someone else that you shouldn't even be carrying you know yeah. in single look we know we are supposed to be these people where i'm dealing with me mm. as they prepare me for the future and so some, some of the things just uh, that we need to we need to learn during uh, this season of life or a period of our lifetime um uh, as we wait on god you know these few things we need to do what is it about reading the bible what is it about praying more fasting more you know staying in the word loving me like those concepts that i need to hold on fast mm -hmm. before i think of bringing, someone, bringing else. someone else yeah. in my life so utapotana kuliza sasa reading the bible in ngiliaje how 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 is it coming in uh, to waiting yeah what is this why are you been telling me to wait, wait on, on god, god. you know yeah. i don't get this so it's it's a bit hard maybe we can get to uh, make it more visualized for people to get to understand, understand it in right. a better way Vicky what would the, do you take for that um, especially on the part where you say uh, a believing girlfriend cannot make an unbelieving boyfriend believe that for me I relate with it personally because my last relationship that was the case we broke up not because he's a bad guy but because he wasn't saved mm -hmm. and now having the church that you both go through like we all go through like the process which you go and now you come to understand salvation for yourself you also understand I can make you get saved. It's not my business. Yeah. True. So even when you broke up, I was like, you see, bro, if if you are saved by the, we, we had to make us say three years, <laughs> three years. But so, bro, <laughs> my friend, you are not saved. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to, <laughs> Mister Kupush. You see, salvation is personal. Yeah. So if you don't want to take that initiative, I can't make you take that initiative. So that was the main reason why we actually broke up. Madiako, mm -hmm. God bless you, sir. Keep safe. But <laughs> on the again. yeah, if, if he wants to, <laughs> he'll get there. If he doesn't want to, my person is somewhere saved and he's also praying and fasting. Nakai Maria Kokwanza. Um, on the part of <laughs> yeah, on the part of loving yourself, reading the word, and let me tell you, the word of God is truth, and there's nothing, nothing equates the word of God. And as as young people, you don't understand. You think the internet is what will tell you who you are or your friends will tell you because your friend can speak ill about you yeah. Yeah. your friends can pressure you to get into a relationship that you shouldn't be in in the first place so what is god telling you through his word at this moment are you are you praying are you listening to what like that quiet time in your room are you even designating time like an hour or 30 minutes mm -hmm. and listening to god is like god in this season of my life what are you calling me to do mm -hmm. in this season of my life because we also get into relationships to fill voids that was who i was but after that relationship i had so many scars i had so much healing to do and i promise you there's nothing that has been greater than healing for myself i don't i'm not going there to impose to say morini was a guy fill this void in me i don't love myself so tell me you love me all the time so like instead. yeah so love me instead or buy me these gifts or take me to these places mm -hmm. this is what singlehood is you pray ask god God show me me. We we say, Oh, well, show me your real self. Ask God to show you your real self. And it's not beautiful, baby. It's not <laughs> it's not beautiful. You'll be told, Oh, baby, you're rude, oh you're mean, oh it's you have attitude and you're there. Yeah, oh they are yeah. there thinking, Oh Lord, but you see it's good to be classy. <laughs> you <made me. laughs> yeah, you made me <laughs> your image and likeness because like narcissist. Nah, humility. <laughs> humility. So you come to you ask literally ask us, God, God show me mm -hmm. and once you start that process of mm -hmm. seeing the re you as yourself and working on yourself and your weaknesses you also even come to love yourself in a way that no one else can mm -hmm. and the bible also says love the lord your god you love your heart you love your mind and love your soul but also love your neighbor as yourself yeah. the important bit is as yourself 
So if I don't love myself, yeah, if you don't love yourself, you can't love anyone. And you can't love yourself if you don't love God. Like it's it is an it is like a trickling. Mm. Mm. And you I always tell people you can never ever perform. So if I am if I have self esteem issues or insecurities, I'll reflect them on someone else. Or I'll reflect them on Maureen. Yeah. If they see, oh, by the way, Maureen has nice eyebrows, and me, I don't. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, even you don't know how to make your eyebrows. Oh, this so is like, hating. yeah, so you're hating instead of appreciating. Stop it. Get some help. Something that she has and you don't. So, love, love God, love yourself, love others. Till you're able to do the first one, that is when the second and the third will apply. Mm-hmm. And enjoy your singlehood. Enjoy yourself. Who said? Set standards. If you are a classy person, <laughs> take yourself to these places. Yeah, <laughs> don't go, be sorry. Yeah, go make your nails That's if you are a girl. Go shop for yourself if you are a boy. Buy yourself that PS. When you wait for your wife, when will you get married? That you may waiting for my life to buy me PS5. My friend, save up. Buy yourself that thing you want to buy. Like, love yourself. Set standards for yourself that when someone comes, they have to exceed it. Like, I yes, I appreciate that you're doing this, but it does not move me anymore. So you are not. They are going with everyone else. Jipenda na nijeshi mu when you transmanga Kenya. Respect yourself. It's true. Why do you Why do you think um, being single is either exciting or pitiful? Where does the pitiful bit come in? Mm-hmm. Why, why, why do people tend to end up pitying themselves? Guy, I can give me a little to have a little What is it about? Mm-hmm. Maybe I can talk about that. For me, first of all, maybe also, okay, I've also dated and, and you kind of feel the pressure. And it's cliche, but it's for real. It's society that really puts that on your head. Mm-hmm. It's society that says that at a certain age, you need to now start getting married you know maybe you're getting to your that is and all that you know you, you your, your chances of getting a healthy baby so it's literally just society but as i say okay not as i say i hear i mean it's really much better to have a good life mm-hmm. on your own first instead of just jumping into something this person as vicky was saying number one how judge you you guys just having so many messes and then now you have to be together so it's like one uh, one mess, one mess. Now it's two messes. Very bad. Then you have messy even the babies and all that. Sorry, I'm not. You have messy. Babies. But as in, you won't have such a rich life, perhaps, in your relationship, because you've not sorted yourself out, and the other person hasn't sorted themselves out. But you know, we all just want to jump into the relationship. We all just want to jump into that protection. We think we are getting that yeah. provision. You know, yeah. that at least I have somebody else. Mm-hmm. So what if you don't have someone next to you? You know, in the end of the day, you have God. And I think I'm in a season where I'm really much understanding this. The, the 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 qualities you have to learn about yourself by the way as she's saying they are not beautiful but that's the good thing about god he knows that already and mm-hmm. he's ready to he's ready to change he's ready to walk with you for you to just find out who is man i mean i i don't owe you anything i don't have to work with you through your rudeness and your selfishness or anything mm-hmm. and that's the sweetness about um what i'm feeling now and by the way singlehood is fun so whoever is Pitying. Oh, and singleness in Christianity. I'm not. Let me not just say singlehood. I mean, just being single because mm-hmm. you enjoy yourself. You you enjoy. It. You can do stuff for yourself. You can. I mean, if I don't want yes. to to be on phone, I don't mm. want to be on phone. Mm-hmm. If I don't want some company, I don't want some Rich. company. <laughs> I don't want some company. So you just get to maximize on yourself. And um, there's actually this time a friend of my mom was um, saying. You know, um, at the point where you're alone, you will get to even enjoy. Maybe you have a job, perhaps you get to enjoy your money. You get to enjoy your time before you now start family. Kumbuka number one for the ladies, we will have to meet. I don't know. I'm not saying that happens also, but you have to get back to. Uh, from work come in the evening you'll have to cook you'll have to care for your children you'll have to know what else has gone around men don't do that much and it's okay we're not complaining again but there is it's not wrong but there's this much stuff that you could still you didn't have to jump 
quick into you know and especially now imagine all that and then now maybe you're, you're also with a, some guy who you don't understand them or someone who you just went you get entered a relationship with them just because of desperation mm -hmm. you'd rather have a quality four years with somebody i mean okay i'm not saying like you get to your 50s but i'm just saying you'd rather have short life in marriage but is quality than have a long marriage that is just miserable mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so i think it's it's just Let's just learn to do things right. And there's no hurry. Who's counting? Who's, who, who told you that you needed to be married by that time? You know, if it, if it came, I don't know, if you just had dandas and everything, clouds from heaven, that <laughs> voice, then it's okay. The, luckily, if God wants that, then he's going to bring that yeah. into your yeah. life, you yeah. know? But first of all, focus on yourself as well. Focus mm -hmm. on you. And, and there's so many other things to do i think you can if it's if you just want to love somebody love people love go to children's homes mm -hmm. do charity you know reach out to your friends how are you helping them if if you even want to test yourself and your capacity of loving are you loving others are you loving your neighbor they i mean and however they are are you feed somebody if you just want to have cook maybe for people and you know you want to feel like you're homely and cook for people in the house cook for your friends and invite them and let them eat if you, you can just go uh, during the weekends go visit her children's home spend time there and you know if it's about a void at least that way you're making an impact out there uh, to someone else's life and then you won't have to feel like you're really much alone and i think you're still doing good in society yeah maybe when you stop s focusing so much on self on what am i getting who loves me i mean who's now treating me you know you do it to someone else instead mm -hmm. and then you will see that really this life is not pitiful it's not miserable yeah that means um we don't have we don't have to go clubbing to feel like we enjoy single <laughs> food we don't yeah. have to uh indulge in uh, alcohol don't do drugs. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. Name, name, name it. Like mm. all those things that people feel that this is the void, that this is what can fill the void I have, you know. There are, there are a lot of ways we can enjoy ourselves as Christians yeah, yeah. and not of the world, you know. Yeah. We have, like what you just say, be charitable, being charitable, um, doing this fun stuff that. Mm makes you feel like okay if this is what i feel is kind of missing then i can replace it with this other thing you know people tend to think uh, now uh having fun in life is get a group we, we drink we do mm. a b c d and you know that is that is life it's 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 our current uh, what do i say it's the current uh, lifestyle we're living in it's the current in thing you know yeah. and i remember when i was in college people were telling me like you don't know what fun is <laughs> and i was like so what is this fun you know mm. like you even want to know what is more of uh the place you are in that i am not in you know yeah and i think even growing up i was so much grounded that when they let me out when i was going to college i found myself grounding myself too much and Things were not making sense in a way because I was like, I can not But it helped me at that point of time, you know. I didn't sleep like I could have slept when I didn't have those grounds that were, 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 were laid down for me, you know. And right now, we don't have those grounds. People don't have those grounds. Unapata, uh, once kids hit 18, 19, they feel they've really grown. And now, Nikulipuka, like you know, right. Vicky, I think. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just uh, <laughs> Vicky is staying still with her parents, you know. Yeah, and uh, I think you can tell us how it is being home with you know, having curfews. Yeah, and your time is six, it is six, you know. Wow. <laughs> so, Muko. I'm thinking, you know, to go Exactly. I you to go out. I to go out. So he said, I'm going You take the next five minutes. I'm going to You're not like, now what is it? You know, you feel it's a bother, but it's it helps a lot. You know, yeah. it, it helps fix you in a good way. Mm. It helps, like, put you in the right place you are to be. At times, we take our parents to be like, 
try new to am doing am doing na fanya na miss ni but you know Vicky be home how is it eh let me just see if i wasn't home <laughs> yeah ni <laughs> shea po um i was those kids once because I'm, my dad is <laughs> very <laughs> very very strict so i was those kids i was like when i joined university this is me for clubbing drinking, everything together ev- <laughs> me and them like this and then i'm very extroverted i'm very loud so me party life is not i enjoy being somewhere that people there's music like it's mm-hmm. i wouldn't struggle uh, then i was called to some university i wouldn't mention they told me mom me it go there me now i was like okay then I, I transferred to a, a campus near home. First of all, it has really helped me because I have found myself in God, first of all. So my salvation has really grown. If I wasn't, then I wouldn't be connected to, with my home church. So that disconnection. And then, you know, then we have long holiday, then you come back, then you don't even know what's going on. Now they are floating. Oh, so there's that Thursday. Ah. <laughs> then you're just standing there. You're not in and any the ministry. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing. You feel left out. Mm-hmm. So... I'm really grateful that they chose <laughs> they asked me to transfer because now I'm more grounded and also I found a very tight knit of friends because being single friendship is very important for this reason these are the people who keep you accountable we are not saying it's easy us being happy doesn't make it easy at all because there's still temptation there's still people who will send you notes yeah we're still as home as we yeah can. we are still people send you, you don't even know this person you wonder mbona uko kwa dm yangu saa 9 usiku bro Una check it like this is real life baby you in my dms why are you sending me notes i i didn't ask for them stop it get some help you see the world is still there we are still in the world there's instagram what work of facebook praise the lord facebook like this this temptation left right center so having a night a night of friends like usla is very well, like hey we to see <laughs> we to see poor oh kuna chadi plani niliona juice ni alafu like they keep you accountable accountability is very important in your singlehood especially if you are working in sexual purity it is very very important so having a group of friends where you can just holler at someone and say it's not a very good day can we just meet up and then it's like yeah please come then just go chill say garden city and have something like for 100 bob doesn't have to be extravagant you mm-hmm. see so it helped me find very good friends my salvation is we are in the right direction and also my relationship with my parents now we understand each other you know we used to see oh you're the bad person but now you're like oh yeah you make i'm sorry to say but yeah you're making sense <laughs> like if i was in a far away university i don't think where i'm at with my mom is where we would be at the moment or my father despite anything going on we are now closer better my relationship with my sister like the people what's most important is what that i have right now and i wouldn't trade it for any hangovers <laughs> any money yeah sidream then i'm kind of red label ala for sidream ni ka hap stop it get some help but like that's 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 like i tried didn't work that's why i'm here guys true testament if it had worked i wouldn't be here so it didn't work is it Do, do you find have you been given pressure from home like oh, are you seeing someone why are you into bringing someone home like Marie no actually I'm the one who's closer to the ages <laughs> no 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 I, I think it, and you as you were saying perhaps our parents are now different mm. from and 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 we thank God for that because you know even them perhaps they've also seen yeah. other we've seen other relationships we've seen maybe even her own parents I'm not saying as in do you really want that is you'd rather just wait for the right person instead mm-hmm. of just getting into a miserable marriage so i think her parents also understand this i'm not saying all but some do understand that and if you're a parent you're watching as in okay who am i to advise you but really don't don't give pressure because yeah. it's even sweet when you have that kind of relationship with someone who's even older who, if, if your guardian your parent who can now you're able to talk to them like you know so this person is talking to me but this guy i don't think they are right and these yeah. and these and you know so you you able to work with them see wale watu tu wana and they want you to bring someone home but what if they are not right, right. you know yeah. they have parents perhaps who will even push somebody to go no 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 time 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 if that guy has money you go you go no but i also maybe for for the other viewers talk to your parents they are wise and most of them they've 
they've seen this perhaps and they can even help us more mm -hmm. i think for me at some point i never used to open up to my mom but it's so sweet that i open up to her now because we can even laugh i can even like tell how this person who's eh, my god this one the other day was telling me i don't know what 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 and it's a definite no and i'm not going to be sorry about myself and we will laugh together you know in the end of the day they also want you to have a happy life yeah <laughs> so they're happy for you as long as I mean, it's good to just open up and talk to people. People have gone through these situations. People have done these mistakes and they've learned from them. You don't have to fail again also. You know, there's that saying for, you better be the person who learns from Someone the other, yeah, the other person's yeah. Yeah, experience. Yeah. So I think that it's really good to open up. It's really good to have those accountability partners. It's good just talk. Look for people you can talk to if it's not your church leaders, your friends, your family, your, mm -hmm. your relatives. Yeah, I think it's good to talk about that.